Can you grow bigger biceps by curling your own leg? Well, we're about to find out. When I was a young boy, I got bullied a lot for the way I looked. So one day, I decided it was about time I started to bulk up and put on some muscle in the hope to defend myself and also attract attention from some sexy cheeky babes. However, I was only about 14 and didn't have access to a gym and nor was there a public workout area walking distance from my house. And this problem is not unique to me. I recently made a video where I reviewed the world's cheapest pull-up bar in hope to inspire people without gym access to stop making excuses. But they kept making excuses. So now I have to find a way to help people build muscle without the use of a single piece of equipment. And I literally mean nothing. Not a table, not a chair, not a dog, and definitely not pancake mix. All I can use is the ground and a wall. But that's okay, because I can just do bodyweight exercises, right? If I want to work my legs, I can do squats. For abs, I can do sit-ups. For chest and triceps, I can do push-ups. For back, I can do supermans. But what about my biceps? No, seriously, I have looked everywhere for exercises. All I find is old, stinky poop. But I thought long and hard, there must be a way to recreate a bicep curl by only using my body and gravity. And then it clicked. Bicep curling my own leg. But would this actually work? Would my biceps grow bigger? Well, in order for our muscles to actually grow from exercise, we need to create lots of little micro tears in the muscle fibers. And when they recover, they grow in size. And so to find out if this can be achieved by curling my own leg, I've come up with four measurable criteria. Number one, resistance. Are my biceps contracting against a resistance? Number two, fatigue. Do my biceps gradually fatigue until failure? Number three, pump. Do my biceps feel pumped after my workout? And number four, DOMS. Are my biceps sore the next day? Now there are two ways I can bicep curl my own leg. For the first method, rest your elbow on one leg. Grab the underside of the opposing leg and start curling. The second method is performed by sitting down, grabbing your foot and curling your leg to the ceiling. I'm opting for method one for no other reason than I think it looks absolutely ridiculous. So I will be performing three sets of 10 reps. Let's get into it. Okay, here we are. We're about to do three sets, 10 reps of the bicep curls using my leg. Assume the position. Ah, check out those bad boys. This is so stupid. One, two, three. Uh, whew. Immediately, the first thing I noticed is I don't know how much my leg weighs. And at the same time, I can press my leg against my hand, adding more resistance. More resistance? That's the first of our four criteria. Are my biceps contracting against a resistance? I think it's safe to say the answer is yes. <laughs> can you imagine doing this in a gym? Jeez, you'd get, you'd get some looks. Now into the second set as we answer the question, is my bicep reaching a failure point and fatiguing throughout the reps? Well, I can tell you this much for free. The answer is 100% yes. Ah, oh, jeez. Now one benefit that I'm noticing by using my leg over something like a dumbbell is that a dumbbell is a consistent weight throughout the entire rep range. Whereas with my leg, I have control over how much force and pressure I'm applying against my biceps. Therefore, as I get fatigued throughout the reps, I can actually remove some of the resistance as the rep ranges go up, allowing me to push my biceps just that little bit further. Third and final set, let's go. I finished out the third set strong and got straight into answering the third criteria. Do my biceps feel pumped after my workout? And the answer is yes. They definitely do feel pumped, which is a great sign because it does mean that I have a fair few micro tears within my biceps just from those three sets alone. But the final test would be to see how sore my biceps were the next day. While this isn't completely necessary to make gains, it's still worthy of noting, especially for beginners. Oh yes, the results are in boys and girls and you won't believe it. Now, before I tell you whether or not curling your own leg is a reliable way of building biceps, none of this information means absolutely anything unless you have a strong enough why. You need a big goal to keep you motivated for when you inevitably have those really bad mental days. Perhaps you're like me and you've been bullied, so you want to build up some strength to fend off the bad guys. Or maybe you just want to impress a boy or a girl that you like. Perhaps you want to go to the Olympics, or maybe you just want to improve your life and live longer. And whatever it is, the more specific that you can make it, the more likely it is to come true. 
So have a good think about it. But Ben, can you grow bigger biceps by curling your own leg? Well, this morning I woke up and my biceps were very sore. However, even if they weren't, I would recommend this as a viable way to build biceps. However, if you can afford to spend $10 on the world's cheapest pull-up bar, I would recommend that instead. Now get out there and start winning and learning.